So there's the unit over there, but the leak is happening over here. See where this big puddle is? See this little seam? See that little bubble bubbling out? As Tommy's stepping there, water is popping out in air right there. So this fills up, is going under where it's lapped off and sealed and uh, leaking backwards underneath. And I was knocking from underneath and Tommy found the area where the mildew is. This, this has been happening for a long time. It's, it's just that it happened a lot now. And now the unit is producing a lot of water. So the water is filling up the roof up here. And when it rains, it'll do the same thing. So this needs to be repaired. Also, we have to, we're gonna check this anyway. This is the outlet over here. But look what way, here's the outlet. This is supposed to be the low side of the unit. Look where the bubble is. They have the unit backwards. They have the high side over here and the low side over there. So it also, but there's no leak downstairs, but it comes to borderline, it fills up inside here. This is the channel where the water pours off the evaporator, fills the channel, and it's supposed to go downhill and leak this way, but they have the unit uphill on its way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go like, it's supposed to go like this. Should be like that or at least level but they got it like this so yeah this curb was installed either this unit was supposed to be turned around and they made the curb pitch this way but they put the unit backwards tilting upwards that's another potential problem and i discovered that one is also tilted the wrong way that one's okay that one's level over there that one's level but that's not the issue it's the leak in the roof and where they have the condensation coming out fills up goes backwards down the leak and dripping down where you see all the mildew from the other video put some goldfish in here and some little tadpoles for frogs <laughs> 